All right, Shalom, Israel. First off, I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, and double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel, which consists of the Negroes, Latinos, Native American Indians. All right, the 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 one third and the great multitude. All right, which is which is going to be saved, okay. Um, shalom to you. All right, and this is I'm a one from the Great Millstone Camp in Trinidad. Um, this is Revelation 22 verse 14. Blessed are they that do his commandments, that they might have right that they may have right to the tree of life, and may enter in through the gates into the city. For without are dogs. Now let me just look up that word without. Just quickly. You know, just quick. Let's look up the word without. Strong's G, 1854. Exo. Exo. Exo, and it means out of doors meaning outside in other words for without or outside um fought out of strange away outside of doors you know literally or figuratively so with for without meaning outside at the tree of life all right meaning outside of the kingdom are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murderers and idolaters and whosoever loveth and make it a lie. Now, who is that mainly and primarily? The so called white man. Alright? But hold on there for a bit. Right, that's speaking about the so called white man. The name of this video is um will there be any edomites in the kingdom of heaven and the answer is no but that is why i read that scripture you see for without let me read it over revelation 24 verse 40 blessed are they that do his commandments that they might have right to the tree of life and may enter in through the gates into the city. The city is Jerusalem, the kingdom of heaven. For without, meaning outside of the city, are dogs, which is these heathens, including Esau and these other nations, and sorcerers, which is mainly Esau, these main sorcerer, the main witch on the earth, and homongers, and murderers and idolaters murderers like Cain right the seller of whores got out with the word I mean. <laughs> and idolaters America is the land of idolatry and whosoever love it and make it a lie so who love it and make it a lie the so called white man look at look at look at the earth today and tell me this in speaking about them and what I did, I took the liberty of doing this video and pulling all scriptures in the New Testament for you, for you Old Testament believers. Alright? I pull all the scriptures in the New Testament to prove to, to, to just to cut you Old Testament fools. That the old and the new is too different. The old saying the same thing, the new saying the new saying the same thing, the old saying. Alright, same story. But the bottom line is no either might in going and be in the kingdom of heaven. No either might in going and be saved. No either might ain't going and have right to the tree of life. Neither coming to the city of Jerusalem. To say they're rocking back with us. 
or, or, or they have a part with us in our thing. No, Lazarus, the parable with Lazarus and the young beggar. I'm going to get it, but I just see. Is Hebrews chapter 12, verse 16. It says, lest there be any fornicator or profane. The word profane means outside the temple. Right? Just, well, same thing I just read. The city. But all the city is dogs and profane people. As who? As Esau. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright. So, so I guess the Apostle Paul calling Esau a fornicator and a profane person. So I guess the Apostle Paul is a wicked person because uh, yo, Esau is the devil the Bible speaks of. When you read in the Apocrypha in Wisdom as um, Ecclesiastes 33 the most I said Good against evil. Hence the reason why in Genesis the twenty fifth chapter they were fighting in the womb. The righteous and the and the wicked couldn't saddle together. They are against each other. That spirit in Jacob was a righteous spirit, the spirit in Esau was the devil. And they couldn't saddle with each other. They had to be against each other because the Hawa by Shami Awashai said it so. So Nate, for you telling the people not to speak out against Esau. So then what the fuck? So so then so then what? So then what so then what? Then what? What? I don't understand. To just go and teach Israel. I read it over Hebrews chapter twelve verse sixteen. Lest there be any fornicator or profane person as Esau. Who for one morsel of meat sold his birthright, for he know that after how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. Hey, let me look up that word rejected. Apodo kimatso. Apodo Kimatsu. Strong's G five ninety three. Apodo Kimatsu. Apodo Kimatsu. Right. Apodo Kimatsu, and it means to disapprove, to reject, repudiate. No, that is just all right. Okay, repudiate. Right. Look up. Look up. Repudiate. Repudiate. Definition on the internet, and it, uh, it means to refuse to accept, reject. Let me look up some synonyms. Reject. These are synonyms, right? Renounce, abandon, force. Ooh, he saw you been abandoned. Forswear to give up, to turn one's back on. Have nothing to more to do with. Woo! Wash one's hands of. Have no more truck with. Abjure. Disavow. Recant. Desert. Discard. Disown. Cast off. Lay aside. Cut off. Rebuff. All right. For, um, definition two: to deny the truth or validity of the Most High. Don't have you in validity, and the truth is, you is a castaway. All right. You so-called white people are castaway of Yahweh by Shami Awashai, and deal with it. The kingdom of heaven is at hand, and we going on rule this earth in righteousness. Forever and ever. You so called white people gonna be done away with after a thousand years of chattel slavery. Just like how we do we we gonna do you. 
Revelation chapter 13 verse 9 and 10. That scripture I cannot get away from. And 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 the next thing, when you read the breakdown of Revelation 13, and you understand it, when it reached that point in Revelation 13, 9 and 10, when it reached that point where John the Revelator say, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. Understanding the, the verses before that, you will know. John the Baptist was talking about um the transatlantic slave trade with the North American Indians also because they were also being traded, they were also being um, chained up and sold into Europe and other parts, and the ones the so-called Negroes coming from the uh, uh Western Hemisphere, the, the Western part of Africa, over here to the Western Hemisphere. That's what John the Revelator was talking about. So, you so called either mites, you no, know, you so called either mites, you either mites, you so called white people who stem from the lineage of Esau. Look forward to that, look forward to um, chattel slavery the same way. What goes around comes around, as I was saying. To cut off, archaic, to forsake, rare, to disprofess. Alright? So that is just looking up that word right there. Okay. Um. I'll read it over Hebrews chapter twelve verse seven. For you know that how. For you know how that afterward, when he would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected and found no place of repentance. Keep that word in mind, repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. This is Matthew chapter 4 verse 17. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, repent. For the kingdom of heaven is at hand. So therefore, in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, you have to, re you have to repent. You have to turn back from wickedness. Alright? You have to turn back from wickedness. Yahweh Shai was the pivotal point in Israel turning back from wickedness. Because Israel, then the majority of Israel didn't fall away yet, but is, is he... What our scripture is showing you is that is he had to be leaving in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven. And therefore, he was the way to, uh, 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 for, to set up the kingdom of heaven. He is the chief cornerstone. Yo, the scriptures is some... Scripture is beautiful. Alright, it's beautiful. I read it over. From that time, Yahweh Shai began to preach and to say, Repent. So therefore, if Esau... Found no place of repentance for the kingdom of heaven is at hand, therefore, he cannot be in the kingdom of heaven. If the scripture says he found no place of repentance, and in order to inherit the kingdom of heaven, he had to repent and believe on your house, shy. Because he is that man, he is that chief cornerstone, the pivotal point, the, 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 the one to turn Israel from the, from the complete wickedness. Alright? Or from the way the thought that was going right. He is the man. And if repentance wasn't found in Esau, if Esau was rejected, if Esau was refused, as some of the definitions are now read, Alright, cast off to turn one's hands, to wash one's hands off, to turn, one, to turn one's back on. Then therefore he have no place in the kingdom of heaven. So, so ITR or ITF, Israelites tried and fail. What the hell you talking about? And not all Edomites go and be destroyed. So then therefore you see they have a part in the kingdom. They have no part in our kingdom. Our kingdom is for us. Just like we don't have a part in their kingdom. 
I don't give a fuck who Jake's it have who are money. We do not have a part in Esau fucking kingdom. Because we catching we, we catching we ass down here. We catching we ass in this system. Alright? We catching we ass in this system. This is first Corinthians chapter six verse nine. It says, Know ye not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high? Who is the unrighteous? The so-called white man. Um, Paul called him a, 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 a profane, alright, and a fornicator. Don't you know that, uh, you say that, um, Hebrews 12, I just read it. The, 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 the fornicator and profane person as he saw. So Paul saying here, know you know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of the most high be not deceived neither fornicator so that cut Esau right there that cut Esau right there because Paul just called him a fornicator and he talking about the kingdom of the most high so fornicators cannot go into the kingdom of the most high no idolaters no adulterers, no effeminate, which goes into these so fast bitch made niggas that have out here who all into the fucking emotions. No abusers of themselves with mankind. These guys homosexuals. So hence the reason it had a lot of jakes who was into that. Alright? It had a lot of jakes who was who was being unrighteous, like the daddy. The devil, who was who was fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, effeminate, and they and they had to repent. That is why how shy was setting up the gospel of repentance. Okay. But it's just for Israelites. No, 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 Edomites. Hell no, you Edomites don't have no place there. Israelites. Alright? Israelites. Okay, our next precept here. Romans 9. Um. And eight. It says this is that this is that is they which are the children of the flesh, these are not the children of the most high. Ooh. Esau is that man of the flesh. He's that carnal minded man who has to search out everything to see what if whether it is true or not. Alright? Jeremiah eight and one. It says that is they which are the children of the flesh these are not the children of the most high but the children of the promise are counted for the seed for this is the word of promise at this time will I come and Sarah shall have his son and not this not only this but when Rebekah also had conceived by one even our father Isaac for the children not being yet born, so the children being not yet born, neither having done any good or evil, that the purpose proven, hey, showing you that it had, it, they were the good and it, it had good and evil in the belly, that the purpose of the Moses according to the election might stand, not of works, but of him that called it. So the Moses is separate, hey, this one wicked, this one good. It was said unto her, The elder shall serve the younger. As it is written, Jacob have I loved, but Esau have I hated. Because why? He is a fornicator and a profane person. And all that is coming from the New Testament. I ain't going to the Old Testament yet. And this is just a, 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 a handful of scriptures. Tap, 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 tap. 
plenty more scriptures in the New Testament to cut Esau. Just a handful. Right? Esau is hated of the most high. Okay? So you so called you so called white people, you have no place in the kingdom. None. Just deal with the fact that you're going in slavery and 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 um go somewhere. <laughs> You have no place in the kingdom of the Most High. None. None. I don't care who you try to pay off. You pay off certain groups like Nate. Nate, hey, you clearly sold out, Nate. Nate, you, you, you clearly sold out, bro. Well, I ain't calling you, bro. So you clearly sold out, man. You clearly sell out, boy. You take that money, boy. Nate. Nate. Nathaniel. And and whoever in your camps all over all around the world who watching, you take that money by you take the money from me so by you take the you take the money you know you take the people money by and sell out your own people for a dollar by for a dollar by come now man come now man that is why because you lack faith. You know you take the money in, you know you take his, you know he saw come to you and I'll fire money and you take it by. You know that. Just be honest and say it. Because the most I go and expose you any damn way. So just come out and say you take the money and repent if it if it if it be of the most I will. You may hey. Just come out and say you take the money and you say you saw I want nothing to do with you. Whether he kill you, but just admit you take the money and talk the truth man. Talk the truth. Talk the truth. This John fourteen twenty eight. It says, "Ye have heard how I said unto you, I go away, and come again, and unto you. If you lo if you loved me, you would rejoice, because I said, I go unto my unto the Father, for my Father is greater than I, which cuts that whole, um, the Most High and His Son is one Spirit, one entity." A whole um, trinity garbage. He separate. He say, Father is greater than he is. Proven that, hey, I ain't great like my father. So I, I a little lower than my father. So both of them is two separate entities. Verse um, 29. And now I have told you before it come to pass. That when it come to pass, you might believe. Hereafter, I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. Who is the prince of this world? Who is the king of this world? The king of this world, let me just get one quick precept. Just now. One quick precept. Matthew 4 and 1. It says, Then was Yahweh Shai led up of the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted of the devil. And when he had fasted forty days and forty nights, he was afterward and hungered. And when the tempter came unto him, he said, If thou be a son of the Most High, command that these stones be made bread. But he answered and said, It is written, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth, out of the mouth of Yahweh. Then the devil taketh him up into the holy city and set him on a pinnacle of the temple, and said unto him, If thou be the Son of God, cast thyself down, for it is written, He shall give his angels charge concerning thee, and in their hands they shall bear thee up. That is the devil tempting the Lord. Lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Yahweh Shai said unto him, It is written, Thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy power. You notice Yahweh Shai kept referring to the Old Testament. He kept referring to the scriptures. Because why? He was cutting the hell out of Satan. Just stick to the word, in other words. Stick to the word. And the devil taketh him up into one. This is the point. Into an exceeding high mountain and showed him all the kingdoms of the world and the glory of them. So then Yahawashai had to see America also in its glory. 
with all the uh, uh, um, buses and planes and 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 and, um, and uh, uh, iPhones, you know, and and and, and TVs and touchscreen this and all of that. Yeah, you don't have to see that because all of that goes into the he saw in his glory because he he glories in that fucking shit. But all of that is just tangible thing. Them thing gonna disappear in no time. All right. And say it unto him, verse 9. Um, and say it unto him, All these things will I give thee, if thou fall long and worship me. Why? Why Why could Why could um, Satan give to Yahweh Shai all the kingdoms of the world? Because all the kingdoms of the world were given unto him. And it have a scripture that says that in Luke, I believe. But I ain't going to get it. But when you read Job 9.24, it says the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Alright? But the main point we are trying to bring out, the king at the, at the, at the king of this world, when you read back in, 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 in John 14 and 30, it says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh and hath nothing in me. So the king of this world is this is, is Satan? Why the spiritual the spiritual um side of Satan? He's the king of this world. He is the king of this world. He controls. He rules this. This is his earth right now. The earth is given into him, into his hands, and he gave it unto his sons, which makes them the princes of this world. Which his sons is Satan is the Edomites. They are the sons of the most of, of, of Satan. Them is Satan trend. Alright? They are the sons of the wicked. The Edomites. So Yahweh is saying the prince of this will come it. And right now he in the rulership and have nothing in him because he is no part. He have no part in the kingdom of heaven. He have no part in righteousness. He have no part in eternal life. He have no part in um, truth. He have no part in being brotherly. Because he says if he is a brother's keeper. He have no part in, 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 in realness. He have no part in, in, in righteousness as I say. Because Yahweh Shai was that righteous uh, and faithful um, man. That we had to follow. But the prince of this will have nothing in him. So therefore he cannot inherit the kingdom of the Mosai. And therefore he is not going to be saved. Alright. So you guys who are trying to steady save the fucking devil. You self. The scripture saying. Um, first. Um. In Proverbs eleven twenty one, do hand join in hand the wicked and go and be unpunished. You trying to save the devil. The devil is going to be destroyed regardless. So, yo, the hell with you. You you will you will you go you will die just as long with Papi Esau. Papi Esau and you and Papi Esau going and perish together. All right. So hopefully this was edifying. Until the next time, we want to say Barakataya Hawa Baasham Yahweh Shai. Double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. I will say it over Barakataya Hawa Baasham Yahweh Shai. Barakataya Hawa Baasham Yahweh Shai. And double honor to the apostles of Great Millstone that rule well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Barakataya Hawa Baasham Yahweh Shai again. Shalom and hopefully this was edifying to the brothers. Alright. Esau ain't going to be in our kingdom point blank and the ain't going to have no one either might that go and be saved not one fuck that shit with that i'm going to say shallow one